The Far Star Company presents Coffee and Blood, Love Letters Between the Dead, Volume 1, The Dead Have Needs Too, from Chapter 1. Then I remembered who I was and immediately gave up on that idea. And asking some god, whomever she is, to have mercy on me for the first time in my life, I prayed that whatever I wrote would mean as much to her, to my new Olya, as her few precious perfect words had meant to me. From Jefferson. Hi, Olya. It is very nice to hear from you. My goal is to marry a breathtakingly beautiful woman such as yourself and share a life together with you where we would share everything. So my goal with you is that we would become permanent partners in every aspect of our lives together and become inseparable from one another. Part of that goal would include finding other beautiful women and making them our friends and lovers and forming long-term relationships with them. Again, sharing every aspect of our lives together and never doing anything without each other, becoming completely possessed by each other forever. I am looking for a woman that I can trust completely with everything that I am. If you would be interested in continuing our talks, we could communicate via this note exchange for now, and, and then perhaps later we could communicate directly with our private email addresses and telephone numbers. I hope to hear from you again. Jefferson. As I read these words on the back of the Financial Times, realizing that for the first time, this damn thing had finally been of some real use to me, with such love, and with such hope, and with such overwhelming fear, as I put my still full cup of coffee down on top of the neatly folded paper. I had only one stunning thought. Oh, damn. I'm such a nerd. It was going to be a really long day. <laughs>